Hello, my name is Stacey and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about everything under the sun, on this planet, in the galaxy, in the universe, energy, spiritual shit. Anything you want to talk about is probably what we're going to talk about. And today, I want to talk about you, talk to you about some things that are currently going on. Now, here's the thing that I believe. When you're going through some shit, when you're going through some shit, a lot of people don't talk about this shit. A lot of people don't talk about it when they're going through the shit because they want you to see the good side. The the good side of spirituality and awakening and all this stuff. But it's not always foo-foo rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> it's not. It's not all fairies and, and beautifulness. Listen, there is a dark night of the soul. I've been through this four freaking times already on my path. And one time it lasted for two freaking years. No, that is not depression. It is an existential freaking crisis and your brain is breaking. So now speaking of brains breaking, that leads me to, I am quitting weed. <laughs> I am quitting smoking pot. I have smoked pot since I was 16 years old and I am 42 going on 43. I am quitting smoking pot because the universe basically smacked me in the face and said, hey bitch, you need to quit. <laughs> Let me explain to you this story. So for the past 11, 12 days, I have been smoking the same batch of weed that I got. <coughs> I have felt angry, volatile. My emotions have been all over the place. I kind of attributed it because I also got my period during this time too. So I kind of attributed it to that too. But then I realized that I've been emotional for way longer than I should have been. Now, I found out today on Christmas that the weed I have been smoking was laced with PCP, AKA angel dust, which explains my violent aggravation and agitation and aggression. It also explains why my emotions were going insane because I am a highly sensitive person and this drug was introduced into my system without me knowing it and it totally fucked up my whole entire fucking being. Like my whole being was fucked. Now, that being said, I am doing an at home 90 day detox slash rehab program thingy in my house because your girl doesn't like people. And most people are like, weed isn't addictive. Weed isn't like that. But guess what? When you have been smoking weed for as long as I have been smoking weed, it's, it could be addictive. It could be addictive. And also, I have noticed lately that when I'm not smoking weed, my vibes are like way up here. And then I smoke and they kind of come down. And I don't, I don't like coming down in my vibes. I like being up in my vibes. So I've noticed that weed is more of an acceptance level and I am more at an unconditional loving level. Yeah, it's a little different. So with noticing that and then having the universe basically throw, um, laced weed at me, I decided that for these 90 days, I am going to completely abstain from marijuana. I'm also abstaining from my person because in the process of having PCP laced weed, I was crying, distraught, emotional, a wreck in front of him. I told him that I needed him and he chose to walk away and 
I really hope he can heal. I really hope that he can find himself. And one day that me and my person will reunite and he will have done what he needs to do and I will have done what I need to do and we can come together in peace, love, and harmony. Because right now, we fitting to kill each other. Like for real, we fitting to kill each other. He gonna kill me because he thinks I'm being aggressive and agitated and I'm trying to fucking do something that I'm not. And I'm gonna kill him because I love him to death but he's not listening to me. So now we have essentially blocked each other on like everything because I am not capable right now in this state of mind after being on PCP laced weed for almost two weeks. My brain broke. My brain fucking broke. My whole spirituality, my brain, my freaking spirit my, my mental my emotions my 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 physical being i i broke i broke i'm sorry i'm sorry my person i'm sorry i broke but at the same time you contribute to part of that breaking you could have not walked away from me while I was literally crying and telling you that I needed you. You could have chose to talk to me for a few more minutes. You could have chose to, you could have made a different choice. So now I pray that you can do what you need to do because I can no longer be codependent and enable you to do what you do right now. Because you need, you need to heal. You need, you need to call the place. You need to get into the program. And I am not going to put all your business out there because it's not for me to say all your business on YouTube. Even if I only have 16 sus sub subscribers. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be more soon. Ah, that would be great. So while I'm quitting weed, I am also quitting my person. Which both of these things are drugs to me. <laughs> yes. Well, weed is a drug and contrary to popular belief, when you have been smoking weed as long as I have, you can become mentally, emotionally, and even physically dependent on that substance. So, as far as quitting my person and my person being a drug, oh my God, is he the best drug ever? It's like unconditional love is the best drug ever. And then we fight and we trigger each other and we want, like, he hurt me. So therefore I want to hurt him back. And it ends up being revenge, revenge, revenge. And then we're going back and forth at each other and he's screaming, I'm crying. It's it's not good for either of us. So I am going to work on me and heal myself. And hopefully, I pray, in 90 days, we can come back together and be cohesive and loving towards each other. Because I don't want to lose him in my life. But at the same time, I can't keep enabling him to do what he is doing right now because that is hurting my soul. That is breaking me. And I can't keep 
doing that to myself and a lot of times we do these videos right and we want to show the whole world the good side and we want to be like beautiful and have our makeup done and do all this stuff but some how are you supposed to help people if you don't show them how to get through the pain and the process of alchemizing these emotions and turning the pain into unconditional love for yourself so i'm going to be raw i'm going to be gritty i couldn't continue to hurt my soul in order to help you in certain ways because helping you in those ways was killing me inside and I love myself unconditionally now that I can't consciously do that to myself anymore and while I know stepping away from you is painful and it hurts like hell But if I don't, if I don't walk away now, I'm going to die slowly inside. If I don't stop this cycle, right now we're not going to be any good for each other at any point so i hope you can call who you need to call and i hope that you can get the help that you need and i hope that soon we can come back together in love because over everything, I love you. Over everything, I want you to be happy with or without me. And that's fine if it's without me. It is. Because right now, I have to learn how to be happy on my own. And that's going to take a lot. So, while I'm quitting weed, I'm going to detox from my person too. Because I know my heart is always going to be with him. And I know somewhere he loves me. And I really hope that me stepping back and telling him honestly how I felt will light the fire under his ass that he needs to take care of himself. Because all I want is for him to be healthy, happy, and safe. Now, back to me quitting weed because I'm tired of crying. Okay. So, why have I felt like I should quit weed for a while now? Like, probably a year. Because as I've been spiritually ascending, it's been more and more on my mind. Um, especially when my, my toes were broken and shit. Um, so when my toes got broken, um, in September, I was going through ounces every week because the pain was horrible. I couldn't walk. I couldn't move. 
it is what it is. But during that time, I realized that the weed wasn't helping um, mentally like it used to. And when I wasn't smoking, I was aggravated. I was irritated. I was depressed emotionally. And I couldn't, even when I smoked, I couldn't get out of the depression. So what got me out of the depression, which is going to sound funny, was my, my person. <laughs> and now... I'm trying to stay out of that depression because it's hard not to fall back into that hole. And the funny thing is, I know you're not gone forever. I know that you're not gone forever because I can feel it. I can feel your energy around me all the time. And eventually you will do what you have to do and you will be back. And my 90 days will be up the day before my birthday. So I hope that you can find your way back. I hope that you can love yourself and heal yourself and find your way back to yourself. And somehow you'll find your way back to me. And you will know at that point what real unconditional love is because I can give you unconditional love but you can't experience true unconditional love unless you have that for yourself and I unconditionally love myself which makes me able to be able to which makes me able to unconditionally love other beings. That being said, we usually make videos that are happy or a list of things that can happen or as we're going through this process of spiritually awakening or ascending uh, to a higher level of consciousness we don't show the gritty side. We don't show what happens when people fall out of our lives. We don't show what happens when that darkness sets in, when that pain sets in. So I made this video raw, as you can see, cause I've cried and my eyes are all blotchy and and I am emotional. And I made this video in the raw because one, I am showing you that getting laced weed is a horrible thing. And to not know it, to not know, to, to get it from a trusted source, and not even be aware that it was laced with hard drugs. And I don't do hard drugs. So that was a major, like a major thing to happen to me. And now I know why for the past 11 days, I've been suffering from migraines. I have been suffering from uncontrollable emotional outbursts. I have been suffering from anger. I have been inconsolable. I have been having issues with my brain, thinking, comprehension, the whole night. My eye started twitching like 
like uh, it was going insane and we don't show what happens when these dark things come into our life so when when this video was coming about in my head i was like let me do this right now in the moment because in the moment could help somebody heal in the moment could help somebody find their path in the moment could help somebody realize that they're not alone and in the moment is real in the moment is raw in the moment is true in the moment is painful sometimes but at the same time it's loving and in the moment is where you need to be so right here right now i want you to see this because seeing this right now might help you so in the moment right now, I love myself unconditionally. In the moment right now, I love myself as a whole being unconditionally. And I love you. And I am ready to take these steps. So also coming 2023 daily videos, no matter what is going on there will be a daily video for me in 2023 because i've been called i've been being called to do that for a while now and i'm thinking that it's time so 2023 daily vids coming for me um and you're going to see the process of the 90 days obviously because the 90 days will not be up until march 25th um, so the daily videos are going to end up being different and changing. It's still going to be basically a spiritual channel and we're going to show you, I, we're going to show you how we evolve. And hopefully this helps somebody. Hopefully it resonates with somebody and hopefully I can pull you up into your own light because when we shine our own light, we help others find theirs. So have a great one and I will see you in the next video.